The new iPad mini 6 is here, and in today's video, I'm gonna break down whether or not the Smartfolio case from Apple is worth the money. I have the white Smartfolio case, and I'm a big fan of its design. It's thin and light, and it's almost as thin as paper, to be completely honest with you, and this is awesome, because then when I put this on my iPad mini, it doesn't really add any extra thickness to it. It's something that I actually would keep on the iPad itself. It magnetically attaches to the back of the iPad mini, and then there's a cover that you can flip to snap onto the top with magnets as well. So this case actually gives you front and back protection for your iPad, which is great. One thing I will say is that the opening and closing mechanisms of this case is actually quite satisfying. It's a nice little click every time you close the case. A bonus feature with this case is that the iPad is able to recognize when it's opened and when it's closed. Close the case shut, the iPad's gonna sleep, open up the case and the iPad will automatically wake up. The only tiny gripe I have with this case is that you have to put in a slight amount of effort to actually open it. It's not as effortless as opening a book. I'm being quite picky. like. I think the vast majority of you are gonna be completely content and fine with the case and how it opens and closes, but this is a review and I think it could be a lot easier to open it in my opinion. As I've said, I did get the case in white, so only time will tell how dirty the case will actually get, um, but from my experience right now, it's been holding up just fine. The most significant selling point for this case is the convenience of being able to position your iPad for reading, FaceTime calls or viewing. The first position and probably the most useful one for the vast majority of you watching this video is folding a backwards triangle that allows your iPad mini to stand up. This is perfect for FaceTime calls or watching movies or TV shows. And I'm a fan. It looks elegant and it's extremely convenient to be able to do that. The other position is a backwards triangle that sort of elevates the iPad mini off the ground into like an incline. I don't use this position too often. To be honest with you, I don't even know really who this position is for, because even when I wanna take my notes or do any kind of drawing, I actually prefer my iPad mini to be flat on the surface. So if any of you guys can enlighten me on why I would wanna do this, let me know in the comment section down below. In terms of pricing, the case starts at $60, so it's not cheap per se. There are many more affordable cases on places like Amazon that can give you more or less the same kind of features that this case is offering from Apple, but at a fraction of the cost. Should you get one of those cases instead? I mean, it's entirely up to you. I think that case from Apple is super sleek and they have specific colors that pair perfectly with the iPad mini color that you bought. And also I just find that cheaper third-party cases never really live up. Like they only live up to the cost that you pay, which is awesome, we saved money but the actual product that you get is usually low quality, doesn't really look that good, and you can just tell that it's cheap. But if you don't care, more power to you. I'm always all about saving money, but this video is all about the Smartfolio case from Apple, and I think it's worth the $60, and I definitely think you should go and pick it up for your iPad mini. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment hashtag iPad mini six if you made it to the end of the video. Drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. But I'll catch all of you guys in the next video. Peace.